All right, now that we've figured out technology, uh, we're gonna briefly continue our discussion of integrating factors. So when you guys were doing the um, POW model last week, you had all constants uh, with your derivatives, right? So from last week, we had y prime equal y prime plus alpha y equals beta. And does anybody remember what the solution to that differential equation we got was? Or how we did it? Yep. Um, we used the integrating factor of the e to the alpha t. Mm -hmm. um, multiply that on both sides. Um, recognize that the left-hand side of the equation is uh, the result of the product rule. Mm -hmm. And then uh, integrate it on the right-hand side of the equation. To make it fit the, I guess, to where we have the dependent variable on, or make it look nice, we uh, divided the e alpha t to the other side. All right. So when we integrate e alpha t y equals, and then this side we would have gotten beta over alpha e to the alpha t plus c, and then you said we divided both sides by e to the alpha t. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. So we got y equals beta over alpha plus c e to the negative alpha t. All right, all good on that from last week? So my question to you is what, if anything, do we need to do differently if alpha or beta are not constants, if we have functions there instead of constants? Maybe change the integrating factor? Maybe change the integrating factor, okay. So let's start with maybe a simple difference. Let's start with y prime plus alpha y equals some function g of t. So we're not going to replace both of them yet, but just one of them, and let's see what happens. Someone else, what do we want the integrating factor to be? Yeah? I think we still keep it alpha t just because we're trying to get that left side to be like one thing and combine mm -hmm. the and y. Exactly. So the issue is this left side that we're trying to get something that looks like the product rule, right? So we haven't changed the left side, so we don't need to change our integrating factor. We can still use e to the alpha t, multiply that all the way through. And now does this left-hand side look like the product rule? Right? So, what can I write on this side? E to the alpha t y. Uh -huh. E to the alpha t y prime equals e to the alpha t and g of t. So now, we're going to integrate. So our left-hand side is still going to end up as e to the alpha t y. And then the right-hand side to integrate, we'll just have to use whatever integration techniques the situation calls for, right? It's going to depend on the function. Um, it's going to depend on the function if this is even solvable. It might not be solvable. Uh, but the goal is to try and use integration techniques, maybe just straight integration, use substitution, integration by parts to integrate. So. that feel? So not a huge difference, right? Pretty similar to what we were doing last week. What are your questions about this? If there are no questions, let's go to the boards and do the first problem on your in-class. <laughs> 